To get more familiar with the Combinator device, it might make sense to check out some existing presets. I can click over here to switch the library to the presets just for the Combinator. And over here we have different folders, and within each folder we have a variety of different Combinator patches. Let's check out this pads folder here. And inside here, I'm going to load in Ancient of Days. I'm just going to drag it and drop it onto this existing Combinator so it'll replace it. All right, so this is the Ancient of Days Combinator patch. I can hide the devices view and just play some notes and play around with the different controls for this patch. So I was just playing around with the different controls here and we we're getting some variation on the sound. But we can click the devices view and see what's going on in here. So aside from just the built-in combinator mixer, there's a proper mixer here. And you can see here the two chains of sounds. We also have some send and return effects. All those devices are over here. And at the bottom here, we can look at the actual devices that are creating the sound. All right, let's check out another one. I'll get out of the pads folder. Let's go into Rhythmic. Let's try this dual Atari. Drag and drop to replace the existing patch. Again, we have four knobs for switches to play around with this particular preset. Now this specific preset makes use of the matrix analog pattern sequencer and very conveniently there's a run switch here that activates the matrix pattern sequencer. And we will check out how to create our own run switch to trigger these matrix pattern sequencers. All right, let's check out one more Maybe under the sound effects category. How about Chaos Arp? Again, I can ignore the devices and just work with the controls over here. Pretty interesting patch here and very dramatic change when we turn off all the effects and you can see here it's mainly this NNXT that's creating the sound but it's going through a lot of processing. So that's basically the power of combinators. A simple patch like this can be transformed into this. Alright, now in the next series of tutorials, we're going to create a combinator patch from scratch.